Who just passed me in the hall? Oh, Jesus, he won't leave. He said he wanted to shower and he'd be right back in a really annoying, sickly, sweet voice. Well, from what I saw, I wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crisps, if you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. The cat knows what you mean. Well, what's the problem anyway? You're the one who brought him home. Yeah, I know. But I've also been making hints for him to leave for about three hours now. He's not gotten one of those hints. I said I needed to leave and he just offered to come with me. I said my mum was coming and he said he'd wait to meet her. Oh, I see. He is a complete nut job. Okay, we're in trouble, so... Please help me get him to leave. Um, I could shout and bang on the bathroom door and pretend to be a disgruntled lover. Actually, no. That won't work. Why not? That sounds good. Yeah, but when I passed him in the hall, I asked if he brought him home and I cheered and high-fived him. So it might be a bit weird if I go and try and beat him up after high-fiving him. Fuck, why do I always attract the weirdos? At least this one didn't make you... Do not even finish that sentence. Make him call you mummy. <laughs> Stop, oh God, I'll have to think of something quickly. This surely can't be much longer. We will pretend the house is burning down. How? There's no fire. I'll pull the alarm. But then we'll put sprinklers into every apartment in the building. Well, if you can think of something better, then be my guest. But I'm fairly sure I just heard the shower turn off and he let out a big over-the-top sigh. Oh, hell, pull the alarm. <laughs>